guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your Adiva Santana here, and I'm back with another video. It's raining outside. I'm sorry it's so loud, but today I'm just gonna bring you guys step by step of me doing my nails. So I'm probably gonna not. I'm probably just gonna talk through this, like um, my voiceover. Y'all not gonna hear me. So yeah, guys, I just wanna show y'all. And this is only my fourth set, so don't come for me. I'm very much a beginner. Okay, guys. So first, I'm gonna start off by clipping my nails and then filing them to get all the oils out and to just reshape them so my nails are not too long underneath my acrylics. This is nail care oil. I usually put this on after now, but I just put this on and I put my nails under my UV light, my nail dryer for 30 seconds. I did cut my cuticles off camera, but I'm going back in with my nail drill to make sure there's no oils in my nails and to make sure my cuticles are pushed back so there's no lifting. Now I'm gonna go in with my dehydrator to dehydrate my nails before I put the acrylics on. Now I'm going in with my KDS glue to glue my acrylics on. And usually I put on primer now before I do this. This video was filmed a few weeks ago, but I did put primer on after I glued all my nails on. We wanna make sure your nail tips fit from exactly one side of your nail to the other. And if you have a nail tip that is too big or one that is too small, go with the one that is too big and try to file the side down. This is me cutting my nails. I do use scissors just because I feel like they go more straight across, if that makes sense, than the nail cutter. But I can kind of eyeball this. Just try to make sure that your nails are the same length. Now, I wanted a coffin nail shape, so I'm going in with my straight edge nail clipper. You can go and find these on Amazon. And I'm just cutting the corners of my nails. Some people do this, some people don't, but I'm just going in and blending my natural nail with my nail tip with my nail drill. Now I'm applying primer. Now I'm using my nail file to go in and file my nails even before I put the acrylic on just to make sure that I have that shape and a shape to follow when I put my acrylic powder on. Now I'm dipping my brush into my monomer, wiping off the side and then dipping it into my neoacrylic powder and patting it onto my nail. I try to pat the sides down and follow upwards on my nail, be really gentle and then I feather it down and I keep wiping my brush off my paper towel. I've gotten a lot better at this since this video. I was using the three bead method in this, which is when you put a bead in between your false nail and your real nail, right there kind of, then your upper nail and your lower nail. And now I kind of do the same thing, but it's the four bead method, which means you basically go back between your cuticle and put another bead one last time. This is basically me filing my nails down with my nail drill, and you just go in and make sure there are no bumps or anything because your nail is going to look just like this when you paint it. So you don't want your nail to have big bumps or curves or anything because that's how it's going to look. Now I'm filing my nail with a real filer and just making sure that the sides are sharp and I have the shape still that I want. Now I'm buffing my nails to make sure that there are no scratches or anything on my nails because when you put the nail polish on you will be able to see all of those scratches so you want to buff your nails really well. Then I'm going to go in with some alcohol and just wipe off all my nails to make sure there's no dust that could get in my nail polish. Then I'm going to paint my nails with this base coat and then after I paint my nails I am going to put them under my UV light. I didn't show but these are all gel nail polishes and I usually put it under my dryer for about two to three minutes each layer. Now this is the slime green gel nail polish I'm going to use and I did about three layers of this on my nails and each time I just put my nails under my UV light for about two to three minutes. Forgot to mention to wipe off your nails with alcohol every time you apply a new coat, but I am going to be applying my top coat and then I'm going to put it under my UV light. Sorry I didn't show this well, but there was one nail that I didn't paint and I just put the top coat on. This is me applying my diamonds. I basically just pick the diamonds up with my finger and then place them onto my nail. And then I put it under my UV light. Hey guys, so this is how these turned out. I really like them. Again, this was not a tutorial. I was just bringing you guys along, giving you guys some tips. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this. I'm going to grow and continue to get better. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I'll be back with more nail videos soon. Bye, y'all.